right so you had given us the sustenance one year ago so we are again fortunate to have that day once again with us <laughs> अंजनी बहन वैसे तो सभी जानती ही है सो शी बाबा वेरी मच ट्रस्टेड ज्वेल्स एंड स्पेशल सोल हैंडलिंग द होल अफेयर्स ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क हारमनी हाउस राइट हैंड ऑफ मोहिनी बहन very very busy you won't be able to even talk little also there when she is in new york so because uh, us means they are hosting so many brahmins always and plus moini ben has uh, 40 countries 40 countries so that way it's a big vast uh, baba seva there to handle so but uh, when she comes in uh, delhi particularly in siri fort so it is a house that's the office <laughs> so bahut acche se and baba ke purane ratan jaise hai yagya ke moini didi aur plus uncle aunty aap sabhi jante hain um baba also takes the name of so such uh, special jewels all palna diya bhi hai liya bhi hai aapne and uh, i would say ki she has special love for gk center as i told you last time also uh, it's her what you say can you can say sankalpo ka vistar the that expansion to this thought so you all were in the garb when uh, she had uh, had this thought she had seen many houses in gk to start the baba's seva so that was the work allotted by shanti ben to her <laughs> so finally she could see i think so you must be happy seeing this beautiful garden <laughs> and very precious khushbudar uh, chamakdar all fragrant flowers before you so today will add more fragrance with her presence and with her words okay om shanti sabhi ko english samajh mein aati hai nahi jisko samajh mein aayegi sabhi bhi see this is the this special, is the special class. class no english trans no hindi translation needed bolo sabandh kar do all of you i look forward to coming to delhi and to be with the family here you know i was telling them at uh, the sisters at shreefort you know it's easy to actually take a flight and go through dubai or those middle eastern country and reach amdavad but i always choose to come through delhi even i can't think of not coming right um even last year i said okay let me try emirates because i've never tried another airline which i did but i still had to come to delhi <laughs> so i stopped because always the family in um in dubai would say come come but then um i still came to delhi but then i had to take the train and then go to abu which i am not very thrilled about but it was okay so i'm here again on my way to madhuban and being here with the family it's wonderful to be with all of you and i'm sure everyone is enjoying your brahmin life right
Yeah. Enjoying Brahmin life. Brahmin life is easy or difficult? Huh? It's very easy. Right. Very easy for everyone. No difficulty. So we are always happy. We are always peaceful. We are always full with all attainments. There is nothing that's missing in our lives as Brahmins. Because who gives each one of us? Only one. The same one who gave to Brahma Baba is the same one who is giving to each one of us. No difference. So if the same one is giving, gave to Brahma Baba and made him perfect, what is he doing to each one of us? He's crafting each one of us. No, He's painting our perfect portrait. Or we take the pen in our hand and draw as long a line of fortune as we want. No? Yesterday, Baba was talking about our fortune. And we have so much elevated fortune. But the secret in all the fortune that Baba is giving to us is how we use it. We receive it, but how do we use it? Sometimes we are not too sure if what I'm doing is also the right thing, you know? Am I using this fortune in the right way? Say if it's the fortune of thoughts I have. And Baba has given me, yes, beautiful mind. I can create beautiful thoughts and all of those things. But those same beautiful thoughts gets connected to something which is not right, which is whether of attachment or whether of something which is not in that elevated way. What I'm doing, I could easily waste it. Huh? Because it's it's pure coming from my side. But sometimes we connect with something or someone and that thing starts to see how it's reducing your power because at that moment, if I am not connected with Baba, it can tie me in a bondage. Am I making sense? I am holding pure thought. But where is that going in? And how am I helping or rather am I going into a bondage? Same with words. Sometimes we say, let me listen to this one. Let me listen to this one. Let me listen to this one. And in our good heart of listening, what am I doing? I might speak two words which might not be uplifting, which could be influenced by something and what happens. And so Baba reminds us of how we use all these treasures he is giving to me. So how good of a trustee am I? You know, it was most touching to hear stories of Brahma Baba during the month of January. You know, we were hearing all these stories. And to see Brahma Baba's surrender, Brahma Baba's dedication, Brahma Baba's, I wouldn't use the word sacrifice, even though some things for us may seem that it was like sacrifice. But for Baba, it was trusteeship. And I feel in trusteeship, it's not sacrifice. Sacrifice sounds like pain. No? Some things it feels, Baba will use the word in the Murli also, but it still feels as though there is some pain there. But trusteeship is beautiful. And there was this specific story that has touched me and has always done because every time I hear it, I feel like only he could have done this. It was when everyone knows the story of Dada Narayan, right? His son. When he was also in Yagya, and then he said to Baba, okay, I want to leave. I want to go to Bombay. And did Baba stop him? No. Baba sent him. But Baba sent him without giving him one penny. Not even a penny did Baba gave to his son. Did he see him at that moment? This is my son. He saw Shri Baba's child. 
what he saw. This child wants to go to Bombay. Okay, child, you go. No problem. But why Baba didn't give at that time? Baba was millionaire. More than that. Why Baba didn't give? Because he had already created trust. No? She, Baba had already created trust. He had already surrendered everything in that trust. Already he had surrendered. He couldn't think that that's my son. Because if anyone else had come and say, I am going, he would not have given, right? So how can he give and say, this is my son? And that was the death to I and mine. That this child left and went to Bombay without anything. Didn't know where he was going. But one Didi sister took him and took care of him and got him married and all those things. And I thought that was a peak for me, the highest form of expression of surrender. Even Baba's wife, when Jasoda Mata was not well, Baba didn't go. She left body, Baba didn't go. Because is he going to leave to go for everyone? And if he can't go for everyone, why would he go for one? Then that's still my I and mine, right? His I and mine will still be mixed in that. And so Baba didn't have any of this I and mine. Everything he surrendered to God and surrender means belongs to Baba. And yet when his grandson called him, grandson wanted him to come. He went. Because he would have seen child. Child is calling. So he came and he saw the child. So, you know, you look at all these things of how Brahma Baba lived. And in living according to how Shri Baba taught him, whatever Shri Baba said, that's how Brahma Baba did and his whole life is an example for all of us that we only look to Brahma Baba and we say, what did Baba do? And more and more as we hear these stories, you know who tells very good stories of Brahma Baba was um, Ramesh Bhai. If you listen to Ramesh Bhai's stories, he was very, very close to Baba. But while he was very close, he used to have like exchange with him. Jagdish Bhai, all of the seniors, they were close. But uh, Ramesh Bhai used to have dialogues with Baba. He would ask Baba questions and Baba will respond to him. So he has told many, many, many stories of how Burma Baba lived. And all of us are here today. Why? Why are we here? We're here to follow Father. What did Baba do? How did Baba do? We want to do same. Brahma Baba reached his karmati stage. Dadis have reached their karmati stage and gone. And all of us, we are journeying towards that karmati stage. So karmati stage and Sato Pradhan stage is very connected, right? As the soul is going towards its karmati stage, Becoming totally detached, totally away. It's as though, yes, I play my part, but I'm so detached from my part. So detached from everything. Stay more with Baba. All the qualifications in the soul is becoming full. Because Sato Pradhan is fullness. How full am I? What desires do we still have? Do we still have desires? Do we still have desires? We don't have desires, right? We have given all desires. Now, how do we know that we have desires? How do we still know that, you know, 
I am lacking in something. Hmm? Circumstances teaches us. Circumstances, circumstances, people, those I'm living with, those who I interact with, everyone will speak to me. And then we know how we feel. If I feel a certain way when someone says something, why did I feel? One is attachment, but also I didn't receive it. Someone gets more than me. I say, why did that person got more than me? Or I go where someone else loves me more. No? Sometimes someone else loves me more. So I said, let me go there because this person loves me more. Or this one gives me more seva. Let me go where I get more seva. Or I get seva which has name and fame in it. You know, all these things a part of internally I'm taking outside support. Outside support. You know, it's very subtle. It's not something that we consciously do it. We don't consciously do these things. We do it from, like take for example, Sangeeta Ben looks forward for when I come. Now if I'm coming because Sangeeta Ben looks forward for me coming, then that is also my selfishness, no? I'm coming out of a desire that, you know, I come, the family here loves me so much, so I come. No, I come because all are my Baba's children. This is my Baba's family. This is my Baba's, you know, I used to remember the days when Shanti Ben was here. How many seeds of pure thoughts she has sown for this place. You remember, brother? So many pure thoughts from many, many years before she left body even. She was remembering GK. She used to think of GK. And somehow Sangeeta Ben's name will always connect with, with GK. We didn't even know anything. And she was close to me. So we used to talk about GK. And in that time, Sangeeta Ben was also not so mature, right? <laughs> you know, all are like children. We are all like children one day and then slowly, slowly we grow. We become more and more mature as everything comes in front of us. It helps us to, to grow. And so those days also we show childish games. So you think, right, before you take that step. And, but seed was sown. Seed was sown more than 20 years ago for GK many many years because shanti ben has left the body now um how many years huh she left body in 13 10 years so at least 15 years this seed is being sown for this this place so i was thinking i said but baba is getting a new home so I thought everything is open already. And so I was asking before I came, I said, is Baba's home ready? She says, no, there is some things. So then I said, no thought. When there are circumstances which we see, don't think from a place of obstacle. Don't think from a place of a situation. Don't think from a place of it, it needs more power of yoga. The more we see things in a way that Baba will see that fill it more with yoga power. Yoga power is such a power that it transforms anything. It creates anything. This is why path of devotion, what they do, they do their yagya, they believe in yagya. Three days yagya, five days yagya, seven days yagya, nine days yagya. Longer they do yagya, they feel their fruit there, whatever they want will come. And then they have shown, right, that when they do the yagya, how deities emerge from this fire. So whose memorial is that? It is our memorial. So 
our memorial is to keep swaha everything, not even one person's thought, which is it's not happening, why it's not happening, what is happening there, this, 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 not one person's thought. Not a single thought should go into that kund, which has a question, which has a doubt, which has anything in it. Because if it does, it reduces the power. It reduces the power. So this family responsibility is to put everything which is only that which is pure in that sacrificial fire. Not one single thought. You know, this is one of the things like I'm paying a lot of attention to these days. Attention means not with tension, but more a natural awareness. Is that anything that comes in front of me, am I using what Baba says as the method, as the solution for everything that's happening and needs to happen? Or am I going into it and spending extra thoughts in what's happening. And as soon as I catch myself with few extra thoughts, I said, stop. Those few extra thoughts is going to create damage. Because who are we? We are yogis. We are Baba's children. We belong to God. We are taking God's powers. Those powers that we are taking from God it is very powerful. This is why they say, no, Ravan was a yogi. And what did he do with God's powers? He misused them. He didn't use them in the right way. So if he didn't use them in a the right way, he became Ravan. That's how he became Ravan, right? He just misused what God gave him. Now here we are, we are also Baba's beautiful children, wonderful children. Children whom he's giving everything to. We are inheriting everything from him. So we have to see that what he's giving to me, how am I using it? These days I become more conscious of these things. You know, sometimes we play along our journey, you know. But now we are at the junction in time. We can't play. Play games are over. That's what we have to tell ourselves. Play days where we played like little children. Those days are not there anymore. We can still play like children, but play in the royal way. Not play with mud, but we play with the diamonds and jewels that Baba is giving. You still play, right? And when we play, we will still remain light and happy and free. And so think along this line. But for Baba's home, extra power, extra everything. Tell yourself, I will not ask one question. No, was uh, last month or month before Murli, Baba says, don't keep these words of why and when and what and where. Don't keep these as questions in your life of asking these questions. Because all these questions means somewhere I have some doubt in drama. No? Or I have doubt in myself. But when I'm doubting, actually it's God I'm doubting. right? Because I'm, on one hand I say everything is his. And on the other hand I'm asking a question. So how does it go together? Does it? Why it doesn't go together? I'm not trusting the one whom it belongs to. In the way I have to see it, that whatever is happening, and I am putting in my everything into it, it's giving me an opportunity for my fortune. So maybe souls are not yet, haven't yet created their full fortune. And so if I haven't created my full fortune, it's telling me, make your life fortunate. 
make your life fortunate, make your thoughts fortunate, make everything fortunate and see how everything will finish in no time. So are we all going to do that? Yes. With full zeal, full enthusiasm, unlimited power of yoga, the mountain will be lifted. And Baba's home will be flourishing with the beauty of power of yoga, not space. Now, space is beautiful. Everyone will walk in what they see. Space is beautiful. No, everyone will walk in and feel that space has magical powers of God. It has such pure energy, transformative energy. As soon as they will walk in, what they will feel. Now, who is creating it? Can the contractors create it? Contractors can't create that. Each one of you, each one of us, Baba's children, what we're putting into it is creating this magical place. So I'm seeing that Baba's home might take some time, whatever is the time. Go beyond the time and space. Think that let us collectively Fill this kund, this fire, with everything that it needs, swaha. And let the flame burn and create a very, very, very powerful, attractive atmosphere of love and family and belonging and everything. That you know what? Nobody has to make much effort. Baba says, time will come. How many words are we going to speak to souls? We don't, they, nobody wants to listen today, right? Everyone is tired, right? People don't want lots of gyan today. You know what they're looking for? Company and love. Sharing and caring and belonging. And, and who has those qualities? What God gives us, right? So whatever Baba has taken, whatever we have taken from Baba, we just share it. So as much as we can share, it tells me how much I've taken from Baba. Not how much I share through words. You know, one, I always say sometimes we share knowledge from our buddhi. Intellectual knowledge we can share. But dharna knowledge, what we take from our... And we make it our dharna. And we share that from our dharna, from our practice. That's more powerful than intellect than what I just understood. Now when we listen to stories of Yagya, it's all dharna. No? What, what Baba did, what Baba said, how he did it, how he used the virtues, how he used the powers, how he used it becomes dharna, right? And so all of us are doing the same thing and all of you are living with your families. So you have two lives. No? Two lives means it's one life. Even though you're there and you're here, it's one life. But again, to understand that you have to serve the family. So your lokic family is a lokic. So that's how it become one life. Here is alokic, home is alokic. So that alokic feeling, Baba use. What Baba uses from us? Baba uses from us the qualities he gives to us and when we use it. Suppose he gives you love and you take that love and you see your alokic, your lokic as alokic. Right? Your alok, your lokik, you see it as your spiritual. Now he will use you to serve those souls. But if I don't use that and I say, okay, when I come to center, this is my alokik family and that's my lokik family. Now I have separated two, so I will give different love to those at home. And when I come here, it's different. 
can baba use me baba will not use what is not pure baba can only use that which is pure and what is pure is only what i have taken from him whatever it is i receive from him it's pure it's divine it's highest so the more highest it becomes where i feel that you know god has bestowed this on me that's what baba will use sometimes i ask myself why certain things don't happen even i create the thought for it why it takes i mean this is conversation with the self so you can ask yourself why right to understand something deeper not you question the scenes of drama or you question yourself you're not questioning to doubt yourself but to understand to see that what more is needed and i will go back and see this still needs to be received from god this still needs to be received from god because it's only when the soul has received it from god it's used in a it it it's as though it blooms naturally you know it becomes full naturally so and anything that's taking more time okay more power more power more remembrance more remembrance more remembrance and allow it to grow in your life this whole month what is the month practice based on but sweetness na no? sweetness and love so whole month i said well how much more sweet have i become <laughs> it's easy to become sweet be sweet with those who are sweet with you right huh? easy i'm sweet with all those who are sweet me what about someone who is not so sweet someone who has a little bit of waste thoughts for you those are the ones you have to become more sweet with right because that one is checking on my thoughts what quality of thoughts am i creating what words do i have am i blessing them or am i saying anyone is like this anyone is like that no one is like this and that all are baba's children we are all on the same journey journey to become sato pradhan journey to become reach our final stage look at the world and look at us how much sorrow is there someone was asking me sister why every day you hear someone is being gunned down for no reason someone you know in gatherings in this place and that place and i said today there is no need for any question of these things because the world is senseless now right death has become nothing to people that is like when you hit mosquitoes today you know when baba says in the morley you will return back like mosquitoes today this is what it's like it's like mosquitoes people have no value for life and look at us we have the highest value for our life only because god has given us so because baba has given to us our unlimited treasures now let's use this in the most significant way so that our lives feel every day very blossom like flowers now it's spring time i walked in shri fort and it's like wow look at all these beautiful flowers because i'm leaving new york where everything is dried up right winter every all the leaves are gone the whole place is like sticks and you come here and you see such beautiful flowers it just brightens you up you know you just feel the beauty of the flowers and you say look at how baba must be seeing all his children 
that everyone, each one is so wonderful. So see yourself through the eyes of God. See how Baba is seeing. See the beauty of life. See, you know. But I, for me, my thought is Baba's new home. That each one of us, do you all go and do collective yoga there? Yeah, you do collective, huh? You do it here. You can't go there. Hmm? No, the family can, but are you all allowed to go? Hmm? We're allowed to go. So if you all are allowed to go, it's the one thing I would suggest to Sangeeta men that all of you go as a family. Light a light. The uh, something. And everyone sit, put Baba's picture and everyone sit and do yoga. Not doing yoga for specific reason, okay, this project should finish this. No, just fill it with Baba's powers. Don't condition the thought. No asking God that, you know, do this, do that. No. Let Baba do what he has to do with our pure thoughts. Right, Sangeeta Ben? Yeah? Tomorrow I come a little bit earlier and we all go there for half hour. We meet there half hour. We do half hour. Very powerful collective tapasya. And do that once per week. Those who can go every day, go every day. Keep a Baba's picture there. And creating Baba's presence. It's not about a picture, but it's Baba's presence that we are creating. And everyone just go there and do your tapasya. Remember, we are not creating no thought why, how, what, when, where. No. Because the atmosphere we will create is a magical atmosphere of our pure thoughts, pure feelings, pure vibrations, pure everything. That the day when that Baba's home has to open, everyone will only have beautiful experiences. And who creates it? Collective energy of the family. So this is what Baba looks at us, that he gives to us how do we use it? How do we use it? And we use it in a worthwhile way. Right? We will use it in a worthwhile way. So we may not do class, but if they don't stop the family from going, then just go sit, do half hour yoga. And then. And you can do from here, this will be mansas, but presence has its vibrations too. Yeah? Good. Anyone has a thought? Anyone has a question? Anyone wants to share something? You can share. Hmm. Yeah, we still get a little bit confused, a little bit irritated, a little bit something. See, most important thing is how do we support each other? How do we support each other? How do we, you know, understand each other? This is why these days, if I see someone, they have a bad moment. And it's not like a bad moment, but something might be bothering them, whether they're held whether a situation come in front of them. If I start thinking from their thought and their feelings, I can't have that pure love for them. I can't. So I have to see that, okay, they have, but let me come from a very neutral, pure place. Very neutral and pure place. And that feeling of love is magical. And I feel that is sweetness. Sweetness is not only how sweet are my words. Because I can speak sweetly and then I don't know what happens next moment. I don't, I see sweetness is one thing, yes. 
we have to be respectful in our sweetness. We have to use all the qualities in that. But I'm seeing practically that in our day-to-day -day relationships, that there has to be a deeper understanding. Everyone is on a journey. Everyone is going towards the same destination. We are all, daddies have reached what they have done. We are doing it today. Those who are new coming, they're going to look at us that we hold their hands and take them along. So it's the same journey. So there has to be a lot of love and understanding. And we know that this journey, as much as it's easy, it's not easy. Why it's not easy? Our sanskars of six to three births comes in front of us. Everyone has their own sanskars to according to how they create it in the past, which is not our thinking. No one is going to come thinking about my sanskars. Oh, you created this in the past. You did it. No, I am not going to think of anyone's sanskar. That's like Baba says, you play with mud. Play with anyone's sanskars is playing with mud. So sweetness is how we are interacting with each other. The love we share, the care we share, the understanding we have. And so we develop. Now, if I see myself, I don't use that fullness in quality with any soul. I go to Baba. I go to Baba. I don't go to that soul and say, why did you do that to me? I go to Baba. Baba, maybe I need a little more patience from you here. Baba, this I need to take more from you. So I go to Baba and I receive what I need and I feel good inside and so when I come into a relationship what will be present only what Baba has given to me so we have to be very good teachers for ourselves to make our life our Brahmin life very easy and natural because sometimes you really look and, and that's what I was telling them when I left New York. I said, I still see sometimes I have little spikes, you know. I call them spikes, you know, like Baba was talking about thorns. So little spikes sometimes you see. Because, you know, sometimes we do have a lot to handle, you know. Many things comes up. We are not in that stage of perfection. We are not operating yet from perfection because that's not where we are at right we are all on the same journey so we have to understand it but don't make it an excuse see it as a means of progress see it as a means of my transformation see it as a means of my attainments and keep moving forward so I said Baba will show me some more and he will help me to make them smooth so you enjoy your effort that way. You don't become disheartened with your effort. Many Baba's children get disheartened. No? You say same thing. You think you're getting disheartened with somebody? Do you think you get disheartened with anyone? No. You never get disheartened with anyone. What is happening? I'm getting disheartened with my own self. That person is only saying, hello, you haven't changed it yet. <laughs> hello, you haven't done the work you need to do. You haven't received everything from Baba and I'm blaming that person for telling me this. And the person hasn't told me in words, but they told me in their actions. They told me in their drishti. They told me by not smiling at me. They told me by not looking at them. They're telling me in all different ways. And I take that and create disheartenment and say, those, 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 this one, this one. No one. And so we have to see that Baba gives us opportunity through everyone to make our lives most elevated. Right? 
So we are, everyone is happy and contented. You know? Yes. <laughs> very happy and very contented. Yes. GK family is very happy and very contented. Yes. And then... Right, right. This, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we learn, and we have to keep on learning because something else will show up. Something, and it's so good to appreciate when something which is not so nice show up, and appreciate that is the greatest gift you can give to yourself. Instead of feeling, you know, there was a time I didn't like people not speaking truths about me or they, they twist my story or, they, you know, uh, you, you see it like defamation in a way. It was one of the things I had difficulty with. And I will say, but I didn't do that. I didn't say that. I didn't think like that. And then today, it's all right. Bless you. Then I couldn't say bless. And then I would get upset. Years ago, I would not like it. And today, I can give blessings. Because outside scenes, these are the scenes that takes us to Baba. Instead of me thinking what I want from this person, it's one of my Maha Mantra. No one must give me anything I want. Because if they give me, they will take it away. And if they take it away, I will cry, right? I will be disappointed. So these are, there are certain um, shrimat, certain maryadas, certain principles of our lives. They are like foundation. Make it so strong that it can't, nothing can move you. You are so stable with it. But if I'm still looking at anyone for anything, I will always have come into difficulties. No? Right, Sangeeta Ben? So we will still remain sweet regardless. Because We have to play our part in that way. We have to play our part in that way. Like I was saying to someone, I said, okay, if, if your mother is not happy for something, what do you do? You go still like child, right? Everyone goes like children to that, to mother. So also with us, someone is not, I go like child. Or someone, you also come like child. Now we are children of Baba. Baba is our parent. No? And we are all children. So there might those be who are elder to us, who are younger to us. All these are there. But the love that we share in our hearts for each other, no one else in the world has that love. No one. Because it's God's love. It's God's love. Right? Who knows God's love? Only Brahmins. Only Brahmins knows God's love. Only Brahmins feel from God. No one else. Devotees have love for God, but they can't feel God's love. But they are going with their love to God. And God responds, of course. But we have a connection that receives naturally. Right? So GK family will stay in zeal, enthusiasm, and keep on flying.
don't look around. East, west, north, south. Look at Baba. And keep sowing all the most elevated seeds. Because this in Delhi, GK is very known, right? Yeah, GK is very known in Delhi. So what will be what will GK be known for? The lighthouse, what? zeal and enthusiasm, zeal and enthusiasm. What did you say? Baba's home, yes. Angels, yes. What else? Brothers? Gyan Kund. GK, Gyan Kund. Gyan Kund. Yeah, what else? What else should GK be known for? You are the ones. You're putting that into the fire. What else GK will be known for? Pure vibrations. Panda Bhavan. House of Peace. So we will fill all those pure thoughts. Come in your heart with the purest thought for this kund. It's like a kund. And we will see it as a kund. And what we will put in this kund is only that which is pure. That's, sometimes Baba says you sacrifice all weakness. We already did. We are not taking that there. <laughs> We're not making sacrifices there. But it's the kund of this purity, this pure vibrations, magical vibrations. And so magical vibrations is all of us are pure thought. And don't underestimate your thought. Don't think it's just a thought. It's very, very powerful. And so it would be a collective power that we will put into that good. And surrender to Baba. Don't think, don't look, don't ask. It belongs to God, right? It doesn't belong to any one of us. It doesn't belong to Sangeeta Ben. And doesn't belong to the family. First, it belongs to Baba. Then Baba says, children, you are trustee of this. Now you take care of this as trustee. How good a trustee now each one is. And the responsibility of being a trustee. Trustee, I'm trustee of this space now that Baba has given this beautiful. Farish hmm? the home. And see magic will happen. Right? So we're all game for that. So tomorrow evening, tomorrow, five o'clock we meet, five o'clock we meet and then we come and do yoga here extra. Evening, evening. How many will join us tomorrow evening there? Come, all of us go. Come, come. You're not here tomorrow? Oh, I'll miss you. Come. Who else? How many will come? Let me see. Come, come. Make effort. Everyone make effort. So we go there and do special yoga. That's my pure thought. <laughs> that we put that kund and let that fire burn all the time. Right. So we close with Baba's remembrance. Sweet, sweet, sweet remembrance. And love is one of the sweetest thing, right? Because love, everyone's heart looks for love. But we just have to make sure we look in the right direction for love. And when we look to Baba for that love, you know, you know it, you feel it, you know that you don't need it anywhere because you have enough from God. So let's go to Baba. <laughs>